Hello everybody, it's Shifri again, and today we'll be playing The Dungeon Beneath again. I haven't played this game before, but uh, the game still goes on patching every, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, a month, but still they put up new characters, new heroes, new things, so I decided to go back into it. Now, I don't remember everything, like, I don't remember what the bosses do and stuff, but I have played this before. Uh, I will be a bit more informative than I was in the last videos around this, because... The channel has grew a bit more and um, yeah, I wanted to, you know, go through this again for new viewers that have never seen this. Now the game itself is a semi-auto-battler, semi-turn-based combat. What that means is that there will be pauses between combat rounds, but that you can set up your characters to attack and whatever. But when the combat begins, you just press play and then you, you just wait for everything to go through, I guess. So yeah. Let's uh, let's get into this. The game isn't really that complex, by the way. It's it's a really simple game. You just have to read the abilities of what your units do, and that means I will not be explaining like a million things for people that have already watched the series. Uh, so I know that the last patch. Let me go back here for a second. Uh, you can go into the change lock and mostly the dwarven update. So we're gonna try to do a dwarven run pretty much. Uh, I don't know what exactly the dwarves do, but we're gonna see. Check out the Steam forms for the full details. Yeah, I did not do that. But there are a bunch of changes, and in general, they're still adding things. I've said a bunch of times that games that do not patch most of the time die, and this game does patch, so I don't know why I really left it behind. Uh, people did seem to enjoy it as far as I know, so let's go into one or two runs, and we're gonna see what we're gonna do. Thoric, uh, Thoric the Hammer and Thoric of the Hammer. Wait, is it, it? did we get two times the same boss? Thoric of the Hammer and Thoric of the Hammer. Seems like it, not boss. They have different stats, though. Anyway, our, um... Oh, I guess it's Thoric of the Hammer, Old Earth Noble, and then Thoric of the Hammer, Master Smith. So the Old Earth Noble version is, at the end of the round, this guy gets one armor, so I guess it's that the, 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 the hero is the, the main unit... I guess the tank. By the way, this is like a hero you choose that will you will have that from start to finish. And if you go to zero life, you lose. So we got, we gain one armor each turn and then also summon an Everburning Flame. That's like a little summon that just blocks away uh, an attack from opponents. And he has to attack and tell health. Ah, it's decent, but I don't like that. And we got a Thork of the Hammer, a 1 8, so obviously less stats. Passive round end, give the frontmost ally in this lane plus one armor. Armor, by the way, means that it's just like a barrier or a shield. So the first damage will go to the armor. So if you do like two, if you have five armor and the opponent does seven damage, five of that get blocked and you take two. Anyway, the Smith's Hammer. When ally gains armor, they gain an extra armor. You know what, let's go with this guy. He's giving two armor to the frontmost ally. That means I should have a, a pretty decent tank. As far as I remember, two life is actually really... It is a decent amount, so giving two armor to something is gonna make it semi-immortal. I'm gonna go here on the normal difficulty, as um, has been a long time since I played, and I also want to explore a bit the dwarves and play around and be a lot more relaxed. Here for all, it's you. Well, go on, then. <laughs> Not just the, you know, the secret final boss. <laughs> That's not a spoiler, by the way. It's just how it is in all these games. Uh, where do we got? Choose a boon. Now we have a boon system here. Gain 8 gold. I mean, that's the most simple one. Gain a random level 2 character. Also pretty simple. Gain a rare item. And your party limit is increased by 1. Battle start. Your hero takes 1 damage. Ooh, I did not know that this existed. Battle start. So you have to constantly heal. Otherwise, you will get toasted with this. But party limit increased by 1 is really, really powerful. I think I'm gonna go with the rare item, as it will stick with us for the rest of the run, while the character level 2, I mean, it's just gonna be a random character that we might throw away. This is, this is, so this is, this is that we invest in finding something awesome in the shop, this is we invest in early game power, this is we invest in randomness, and this is we invest in the most powerful choice, but also the most dangerous one. Let's go with gaining rain item. What did we get? Plus 2 attack and minus 3 health. We love this thing. The reason we love this thing is, first of all, I can put it on my hero if I want. Having plus two attack on the hero is always good, but having a five life hero is not really a good idea. The other choice is obviously to just put it on somebody that doesn't even have three life to lose, and then it's going to be like a sniper unit, especially if I like use my hero to protect it. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> let's not forget that the hero will buff uh, with armor or whatever we have. So enemy hero, follow up, summon a bottom pile. 
Let me explain what's happening here. First of all, every unit is going to attack straight up in a line. As you see, when I'm lighting this up, it will do three damage to this. This will do one damage to this, and this will do one damage to this. And then I will do one damage to... Right now, it's showing that I'm going to attack the bone pile, but uh, that's not true because both of them will attack. But there is also a button over here, attack order, which is this one. I can hotkey it, and uh, everything attacks in a specific order based on speed. And um, yeah, I think that's it pretty much. Like, everything attacks in a straight line. You have to put them in specific places, and then when you press attack, the fight actually starts and that will be only one round so as you see with attack order here it's, this is gonna attack first then this is gonna attack second i don't know why i cannot press attack order and also float at the same time for some reason that is like not a possibility here anyway this will attack first then this then this then the enemy uh, actually then us and then the enemy will attack and that will be one round so let's go through this real quick first of all what does this guy do doom gain one power doom is when a character dies okay I mean, and what does you do? Follow up, summon bone pile. Follow up is after the attack. So what will happen is just my unit's gonna take two damage. Let's go. As you see, everything is going extremely fast here. Let's actually put it down to times three so that people understand. Um, yeah, he has four attacks, so he will blast through the boss, but uh, we could move him here. But because we have already begun the combat in general, I, I, if you move somebody, he gets exhausted and it pretty much passes the turn. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna attack here again. Now he has two armor and he should not even take damage, but we won with my main hero anyway. Let's gain the money and let's go onwards. We got a potion, restores one health, consumable. This is for a character. Oh, I see. So now that the campfire has health, this was not here, by the way. So maybe you can have the four squad room. Anyway, right now we only have room for one more and we already found Gor Cleric of the Dark. When this character kills an enemy, gain shield. Shield is that the next hit will do zero no matter what it is. Uh, do I like this thing? I don't know. Round end, give another ally in this lane plus one power. And summon, uh, round end, summon an enemy blood shade in the lane inexhaustible. In this lane inexhaustible. The blood shade, as far as I know, is like a, um, a little bomb that you attack and then it explodes or something like that. Should I take this guy when he kills a character? I mean, he's a... He has a... How much attack does he have? One attack, five for life. This is a pretty tanky dude. Pretty tanky dude. And I even could give him the skull. Yeah, let's take this guy. Let's take this guy. Give him the skull. Boom, done. Now he's a 3-2, but he will gain a shield whenever he kills something. And we can go either to the slime or to this guy. As far as I remember, this guy is a bit dangerous, so let's go to the slime. Although the slime is also most likely not that safe. I can also sell something to buy something, but these cost three, so I cannot really sell anything to get anything. I can... <laughs> Sift out of context. When an ally dies, we still run health. Okay, as simple as that. I mean, this guy is going to do one damage here, this guy is going to do one damage here, and then the rest of the team is just going to blast through the boss. So, yeah, that's it pretty much. I don't really think I need to test anything else. Let's go. One, two, tank, three damage, and I will do the final one hit and done. You don't need to deal with the others. By the way, there is like there are some side objectives sometimes, but not always. Uh, now here specifically, uh, what this is is you give care X XP some. You give your characters XP as you see above them. They have like some pips, and if they get three XP, they will level up. Uh, I can even see what the level up is, but the thing is, you have to literally go over here, and then find the character cleric of the dark, and then like. Press these button and go with 1, 2, 3. So he gains plus 1 attack and plus 2 health on level up. I like this. I really like this. And then 3. Yeah, I'm gonna level this guy up. And then we also have the archer that we had. Which we can see what he, what he could do. Where is that? Here he is. Night Marksman. Doom gain 1 apart. 2 attack. 3 power. Power, by the way, is temporary. Always. Power is always temporary. And attack is permanent. If something says that it gains power, it means that it will attack once and then lose the buff. I'm gonna buff this guy. This guy is most likely gonna get thrown out. What is this? And what is this? I don't know. I guess this is an item and this is money. So we're going to go with the item. I, I would assume, right? So yeah, this is an item. Plus one health, gain two battle star, gain two armor. Would be nice to have inventory for this guy to put it on, but we don't. Let's put it on, I don't know, this guy, because why not? At some point, we every time a unit levels up, you it gets one more slot to use an item win. So... Bones objective, protect the lost adventurer. When an allied beast dies, summon a dire rat. When an allied beast dies. So as long as beasts... It says beast, so... as lo uh, Every time we kill a rat, he summons a rat. That's what he does, pretty much. Well, uh, we're gonna just go through the middle here. 
We're going to just eat through the middle. Or we can also do this, by the way. So we can eat through the top and then try to attack him and leave the middle and the rest just exist. Yeah, let's do that. Rat's going to die in a moment. Oh, Rat's dead. He got a shield. Rat summoned on the exact same spot. That's a bit unlucky for us. And he did it again. A bit unlucky still. And this time he actually did not do it. So in a turn, we're going to win here. Attack. And we win. Very nice. As you see, it's pretty simple right now. We also got the bonus objective done. So because of the bonus objective, we gain two more coins than we would have. XP continues going towards the dwarf. We got a devil deal and a buy a new unit. I always like going for devil deals, so let's go for that. Bethan, an offer to you. What is this offer? So we choose either to gain three gold, but next battle will have one more health on each enemy. Decent. Gain four gold, next battle enemies begin with two armor. This is more dangerous than this, obviously, as the enemies most of the time don't heal anyway. And I mean, I think armor goes away at the end of the turn, but still, I always try to go for the one shots. Gain three armor, next battle, the enemy hero has plus three health, depending on which hero. Okay, both of these, I think, are scaling enemies. So we're going to go with they just have plus one health. And we're going to go to the left one. I, I, I think this guy is very dangerous. Like that guy is every time something dies, he gains power up, I think. Follow up, give it a random ally beast plus one attack. Yeah, this is more easily. So every time he attacks, he just buffs an ally. Now there are webs on the ground, which means the moment can't move when placed on them. So the moment I place something on the web, they will instantly stick, get stuck there forever. I would say you fight one versus one against this rat. You should be able to win. And we try to, th to eat through the middle while also going for the boss. And this is going to get stuck here. Now I can no longer move it. And we're, yeah, as I said, we're going to just try to go through the middle. Actually, let's change these around so that this guy tanks over here and uh, we will we will have been we have won until this whole thing goes through. If if my yeah, he gets the shield. Now this guy will do zero damage exactly. And let's attack. One. We're about to not we're about to do nothing actually. We just won anyway. Up. Oh. And next round we are winning. Who's attacking first? We are attacking first, so I just pass. First arrow is the win. Easy enough. Nice. Nice. Let's level up our dwarf. Now he's gonna be plus two health, plus one damage. Love it. Now he's a 4-4. Less of a chance of getting one shot. What is the blue flame? This is new. Blue flame is new. This is... Um, this, as far as I remember, is that he gets one of your items. And... Um, I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna go blue flame because it's new. We're gonna go blue flame. We're gonna slowly explore this. Uh, I think, I, I, depending on how this goes... Oh, this, so the blue flame has bonfires. Bonfires have more characters to hire than campfires do. Unlocking new units will eventually unlock new bonfires. Ah. What do you mean? What? Why do having more units unlock more bonfires? I don't understand this 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 part. Unlock new bonfires. Uh, but I guess the, these are, like, fixed. Like, are these parties fixed? Or First of all, this guy's a dwarf. Another dwarf takes damage, which we have. We have a dwarf, and we also have the, the main hero. Uh, gain plus one power. So power means for only one attack. Around end, gain one armor, which is two armor, for each other dwarf, which is two. So he gains... So the question is, does he gain two armor twice, or does he gain two armor plus one? So is it plus one, plus one, and then another plus one, plus one, or is it plus two, plus one? I hope I'm understood. Uh, yeah, first of all, this guy is a 1-4, and this guy is also a 1-4 with the item. Like, this guy is a 1-3, so you are sold. And you definitely join the match, the fight. When this character kills an enemy, restore 1 health to a non-heroic damaged ally. I mean, it's a 4-2, a 2-4, uh, to attack for life. Restore 1 to a non-hero. Okay, this is a healer. Also called the butcher, though. If this character has power, summon a bomb that gives damage, and we're not gonna take that. When an ally dies, gain two power. I mean, we don't want to lose allies. This is for summoning builds where you don't care about the losing summons. Uh, has plus one attack while at maximum health and is inexhaustible. Inexhaustible means that I can move it around all the time. Honestly, I want to either go for the butcher for some healing or to the sword dancer for some damage. I know they have the same damage, but the thing is that this guy. Wait a minute, can I also check? Yeah, I'm not gonna keep anything permanent. First of all, Potion of Experience is definitely gonna get got. 
And what does this guy actually gain? By the way, I would like if you could like control click on these or shift click or, or just if there was somewhere a button that you quickly can go through the codex instead of needing to, you know, go one by one. What do you level up to? He doesn't, he doesn't really gain anything by leveling other than health. Well, that's a bit sad, but uh, it is what it is. And then the Sword Dancer, um, the Sword Dancer does get a lot. He gains a lot of damage when he leveled up. So we're going to get the Sword Dancer. Does the Butcher get anything? As far as I know, they don't. Where's the Butcher here? Oh, two times heal and three times heal. But he doesn't gain more damage. So it's not, uh, the, the more we play this, the worse he's going to be off. Because getting lethal is not really that easy when you have only two attacks. So let's get this thing. Let's get this guy. Party is full. Yeah, you know what? Leave that item here. Get sold. Join over here. Give this item to this guy so that he starts with armor and has a higher chance of not getting hit so that he maintains his damage. And the final thing we need to do is level up. And I would say we continue leveling up this guy so he gains even more damage. And um, yeah, that's it pretty much. Nothing more to explain there. Dungeon boss. File Featherbite. Bonus objective, defeat all enemies. Yeah, that's gonna happen. What do you do? When an ally character dies, gain plus one attack. Here you see he gains plus one attack, not power. So that means that if I kill all five of these opponents, this guy is gonna do five damage per turn. Uh, doesn't matter though, because this guy will have the shield. Now the thing is that, as you see here on the ground, there are some spikes. Can this guy attack from the back? No, he cannot. Can this guy attack from the back? No, all of these have to attack from the front. So we are pretty bad here with the spikes. We will have a problem. Deal one damage at any character standing on spikes environment, but every win. I don't remember when exactly the spikes go, so it is what it is. We're gonna try to eat through the middle as we always do. I could also try to eat through the top. This guy gains two armor at the end of each turn, so maybe I should have him in the middle, but this guy gaining the shield is a bit more important. I don't know, depending on when the spikes attack. Well, the spikes definitely don't attack after this boss, and he should already have the shield at that point. Yeah, because this guy is going to shoot this arrow and this guy is going to kill the skeleton. So this guy will have an armor and then this guy will do, no matter how much damage it does, it will just be zero. Yeah, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. And this guy is going to kill, exactly gets the shield. Now gets attacked for three, which is zero. And now the spike happens and now I give him a shield. And now every turn I will give him a shield anyway. So he should be pretty safe. And the boss is already dead. I mean, uh, the boss is only three life. And what? It's, it's over. It's super over. Done. Easy enough. I did not kill all the enemies, so that was a mistake. We didn't get the bonus, but the bonus was two coins, so it's not the end of the world. Let's go back to the buff. Uh, I don't remember what everything is once again. I'm not sure I want to go campfires, campfires again. Let's go over here for a moment. The reason I didn't want to go campfire again is because... Ah, uh, this is the shower key. Take a look. Buy a thing. Doom restore one health. Doom is when something dies. When this character kills an enemy, summon raven. That's free ravens pretty much. Uh, gain 2 armor, we have that. And plus 1 attack and plus 2 speed. This is really good in general. So we're gonna take that. It says archers only. And uh, I do have an archer. Is there an archer? Can I, can I like search? I don't think there is like a search option. In general, I think this, uh, this part here should be made a bit better. Because, for example, right now I want to see... Can I find an archer dwarf? Does an archer dwarf exist? And I will have to go through like every single dwarf here looking one by one. I'm pretty sure an archer dwarf does not exist. So I don't think there is like any reason to looking through this. But still, but still, it would be nice if R is the knight. This guy's an elemental fighter. Okay, I see. Yeah, as I said, it would be nice. Anyway, this is fighters only. Doom restore on health. Do I want to start healing this guy? This character because the enemy gain a shield? Or do I want to maybe start healing this guy? This guy's a fighter. This guy's also a fighter. And actually, I want to be able to heal this guy whenever I can. And Doom is whenever anything dies. So let's put the armor on this guy. And let's put the restore on health and kill to this guy. And as I said, it's not when this guy kills. It's always no matter who does the assassination whenever something goes down that guy will heal and get its damage buff back dungeon boss reanimated colossus attacks twice what do you do follow up someone a bone pile follow up someone a bone pile so these two try to get a bunch of bones on the field so that we are not able to you know get through and this guy just attacks twice yeah, we're gonna just have to set up. This guy is slowly gonna kill uh, Twin Mancer. This guy is not really gonna kill the like, Twin Mancer, honestly speaking. But I think we can eat through the middle. Can we eat through the middle? Maybe you should be up here. Start helping with that. Yeah, this guy, I, as far as I'm concerned, this guy will actually make it. So let's go. As you see, the top has even... And we got a kill there. No! My math did not check out. 
That was bad. Uh, you go over here and block. Exhausted, I know. You will slowly try to eat through the bottom. He should be able to kill here. Yeah, he plays first, so this assassination is happening. And uh, this guy should survive at this point. I didn't calculate everything correctly, but it's not the end of the world. As long as this guy survives. Yeah, from here on out, he will gain like 4 armor each turn, so it's over. You kill the top, you kill the bottom, you attack. The enemy does 4 damage, which is always 0 from here on out. Let's continue. Hop, hop, done. We lost the unit we had, but it's okay that we lost them. Because the thing is that the bosses give you a double XP potion. And this guy already has 2 XP, so I would not use it on him anyway. By the way, the only downside of losing a unit is that you cannot level it up. It's as simple as that. We're going to put this over here because we will try to chase down a Dwarven build. So he will be until the end. Restore 1 health to consumable. I mean, I'm for life, so we gain 1 money out of that. And this gives us 8 coins, and we get another passive. Give a random fi allied fighter plus one armor. Perfect. So we're going to most likely take this. Characters at campfires cost two less gold. This is also really decent. When a non summoned ally dies, summon two blood wisps. I don't like this. Uh, blood wisps are like just blockers. So give a random allied fighter plus one armor at the round of the end. At the end round. Which is two armor, by the way, because we also have the other thing over here that gives us plus one extra armor every time we give armor. And I also want to look into this. If he actually gains four armor for on his own or three armors on his own. But I think he gains four armor on his own. So that's really good. Let's go into the witch. Now, what the witch is, uh, you give her an item and she gives you... Nope, nope, cancel that. Potions, aha, potions for very traveler. Transform an archer into random uh, level 3 character. The character loses all their con equipment. Well, I have an archer, which I don't care about. So, I, for 6, I can literally just get a random level 3 character from the whole game, which is really good. And we're most likely gonna take this. Let's also read the rest. Transform a fighter into a basic copy of a random party member. The character loses all their equipment. I mean, this is also good because I can use this and, for example, transform the Sword Dancer into one of these two. This is a very good choice because it will forever gain armor and power because we're going to have a bunch of um, dwarves. This is maybe not a good choice. A transform a fighter into a multi-class, letting them use equipment from any classes is also really good. In general, all of these are good, but I think what I want to do is transform the archer into a random three uh, level 3 character. I think that's the play here. So YOLO it. And we got a human fighter, which can attack from the front only, so I will have to transition. Doesn't lose armor at the end of the round. Uh, I mean, it's a human fighter, so it's not really something exciting. All of these can only attack from the front, so right now my team doesn't even work. Transform a fighter into a basic copy of a random party member. I mean, I can try the sword dancer to transform it into one of the dwarves if I'm lucky enough. If I'm not lucky enough, it becomes a 212 anyway. Because this guy is uh, a, a, an only level 3 unit. So let's leave this on the ground so we don't make a mistake. Let's transform this guy hopefully in one of these two. Okay, we got the non-perfect version, but it's decent. I would obviously prefer the runesmith, but this is also good. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's a 2-7, so it's decent. This guy, I mean, I'm not sure how many kills it's gonna get, but we're gonna see. <clears throat> it still buffs the other runesmith. And the mortal here... I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the mortal. I mean, right now it just exists. Well, in general, right now it is better than the 2-7, so let's just go. Like, the, the team is a bit lopsided, but we need just to go to a campfire and we're gonna fix everything. Round end. Summon a Wandering Orb. And these guys, follow up, move. So these guys just move, and this is a 2 ten. Who cares? This guy will never attack. Let's go to the top to start helping out with the damage. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do like this. This guy should be able to handle this, as he will gain a bunch of armor every turn anyway. This guy cannot attack. And, um, yeah, I mean, this guy's the 4-4. Maybe he should be attacking at the top, helping out. Yeah, you guys can tank there. And then summon the Wandering Orb. We don't care. Let's go. We do 5 damage per turn at the top lane. Oh, no, 2 armor. Boom, boom, boom. He actually gained 4 armor. Wait, why did he gain 4 armor? He should have gained... Ah, uh, 3 plus 1. Okay, he gained 4 armor. So it's, it's correct. It's correct. So he gained 3 plus 1. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just continue here. This guy has insane armor. The top is carried. Protected, actually, not carried. Are you kidding me with this? Free armor, continue. Random buff at the bottom. These guys attack at random positions. He still gains even more buffs. This guy gets the Doom that heals him. Attack again. I want some kind of fighter or dwarf that can be in the backline, although I'm not sure if a dwarf in the backline does exist, but in general I need something for the backline right now. 
But we have such a strong team. We are already beating pretty much everything. Okay, we got a tier 2 here. Very nice. I will not go to campfire, although I just said that I want to go to campfire because I only have 3 coins, so I will not even be able to buy anything. As now that we are in Act 2, all the... All the things are Act 2 related, which is everything you find at the campfire is gonna be level 2. Let's get 3 gold. What are these? I cannot open these? What are you talking about? Uh, green witch, uh, or if, what is the green witch? Is this a fight? No, this is definitely an event. No, it's a fight, dungeon boss. The crone poisonous, which is not good for us. Round then summon a random slime, then move. move. Okay, we go down here with the power team. Try to kill this thing. Someone had the stimulion death. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, that's not a good idea. Let's leave that thing on its own. We're gonna go through the top. This thing is gonna attack the base anyway, so he's gonna get his shield. Maybe I should have an eaten. Maybe this should be in the middle. I don't know. Oh, it also moves. Round and summon random slime and the move. Okay, got it. Anyway, we just continue with what we're doing. We do two damage to that thing. And this guy will get poisoned. Poison, as far as I know, means that you just take one damage per turn or something. Poison. Poison characters take one damage after their normal attacks last until the end of this battle. Yeah. And it doesn't even stack, so who cares. Here we can see if protection is gonna protect us from poison. No, it does not. So protection does protect from the damage, but it doesn't protect from getting poison itself. The bottom here is still uh, pretty much uh, shielding uh, its own all the time. Not poison, but still has a bunch of life. Let's continue. Five damage here and plus one from my boss, and we win. From my hero, I mean, and we win. Easy enough. Easy enough. As you see, my 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 team is so powerful that the backline doesn't even need to exist. Let's level this guy up. I think the fairy transforms our item into something random. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say this like every single time. It maybe transforms something into something. <laughs> every single time. Yeah, that's the fairy. Hello, friend. Have you brought me an item? So this is not random, by the way. It's it's always, always, always the same. But I don't know what is what. Like, obviously, there is no list for this. Wait. Maybe there is? I see here at the bottom that there is something it shows you. So I will just go ahead and assume that this is a one-time thing. So every time you do a test, you learn what the next thing is. Okay, because, because that seems to be the case, I will just use the... I think my worst item right now is this, the glove. So let's learn what the gloves evolves into. In two health, plus, minus one. Ah, it's... At least it's permanent, I guess. I don't know. I really like it, but it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. It's not like the other one was better. Dungeon boss. Uh, actually, maybe the other one was. I don't know. We didn't lose the speed. But heck, similar. Paralyzing attacks. Round and chain lanes. Bonus objective, defeat all enemies. I'm not sure if we're gonna do the bonus objective. But for now, let's just go. Uh, I will try to eat through the top. Actually, why would I do that? We'll try to eat through the middle. <laughs> actually, I should try to eat through the top just for the... Um, Wait, can this guy lose? Die right now? No, he's not gonna die. Let's go. Doom. Yeah, he's gonna take four damage. Dwarven Bond, plus power. Paralyze the middle, we gave him two shields. Let's pass. Bottom's gonna survive. Top continues gaining its Doom, its on kill gain a shield effect. Let's continue. Still has enough shield to survive whatever's coming towards him. Yep, let's continue. This guy will die. No, but he will not die. As he doesn't do enough damage. Okay, we're about to kill the boss. If I just straight up attack. I'm trying to get the, the bonus objective here. So, let's not kill the boss. <laughs> you shall not attack. Yeah, if this guy doesn't attack, paralyzed. Oh, oh, he doesn't attack anyway. Okay, this guy will kill the simulate. So, if I don't move, the boss will be at one. If I, when you move, as I said, you do not attack. You know, this guy is petrified. This guy moves after attack, so let's hope we will have a lane where we can attack him. Mm, yeah, let's swap these two so they don't attack. No! I mean, this was not... I, I, this was unpredictable. You, you can predict where that thing would move anyway. Let's give the shield to the second dwarf. Yeah, ah. Uh, yeah, this, this guy is actually decent. It's like 3-7. Although, on the other hand... No, let's start building up the other one. Now I have 12. 
I still want to go here. I'm going to just go in one big campfire and then buy the things I need. Right now, the team works. An offer for you. <laughs> Gain three gold. Next battle, an ally begins with a random stats effect. I mean, this could be from poisonous up to paralyzed. It could be something very temporary. Gain four gold. Next battle, enemies begin with two armor. Gain four gold. Next battle, the enemy hero has plus one attack. What are the choices here? Uh, are these fights hard? I don't really know. The hero having plus one attack is not really the end of the world. Also having one ally having one random stats effect is also not really that bad. So let's go with this. Let's set them up in a way so if they have if they happen to roll paralysis, we're not gonna lose. I think this is decent. Let's go for the laser eye. I think uh I don't want to go against beasts. Beasts tend to summon a million things. Summon to wandering orders around and Well that was a mistake. We start exactly, we start paralyzed. Perfect. That's really good for us. Honestly, it's good for us. And because because of the simple fact that it just lasts one turn. Round end, summon two wandering orbs, and it just does full attack to the middle guy every turn. Okay, we're gonna protect the middle guy, and the rest is gonna do whatever. Power gets one of the nearest enemies in any lane. Okay, so enemies will start attacking randomly. I mean, if one... If one okay, he's dead. Turn one, dead. I'm sorry. Oh, he got the shield. He got the shield. And from here on out, I will be giving him two armor each turn. Uh, can we actually do this? He's dead again. Stop, please. That's dead. That's dead. You got the shield. That's dead. Okay, it is summoning two. But it doesn't really matter. Okay, so, so if all of these hit the middle, it's the, if two of these four hit the middle twice, the middle is dead. Yeah, we're going to lose the middle here. Okay, middle survives. Very nice. It's close to dying, though. Yeah, it's actually dead. I think I need to help out with the DPS. So let's forget the middle for a moment. Let's go down to start in the next round. Helping, I mean, when I say start. Yep, attack, attack. Middle is dead. You go to the front so you can start attacking. Wait, is he attacking from there? No. So we have three units attacking every lane, plus me in the bottom. So we should clear everything right now. Don't kill top. Don't kill top. Okay, got him. I got lost some armor, but it's okay. Okay, now we will clear everything pretty much. And middle... I think all of my units should survive here. Come on. Woof. If we lose one unit here, we will most likely die. Okay, I give shield to the top. I think I should run to the top. No, I think um, speed-wise we are very slow. I think I should run to the top with this guy to protect him. Because if we lose him, it's like super over. Yeah. The, the end of turn effect will actually work, by the way. Don't summon top. Don't summon top. No, stop summoning top, man. The reason I wanted to stop summoning top is because this guy does 5 damage. Don't summon top. No, don't summon top! Oh. We might lose. Actually, we might take 4 damage. That's the most important problem there. I should have had the 5 damage unit in the middle. Don't summon top. No! Did you hear that? We need to leave quickly. Wait, what happened? This is the first time I'm I'm seeing this. Uh, I guess I have one more turn where I do a free attack. We will take four here because I don't have anything to block the middle. Don't summon top. Stop, stop. They're here. What is this? Invisible? Dun okay, we'll go reset battle. You can only reset once per battle. I reset this battle. I, I love that the game has a mechanic that is literally, oh, you miscalculated something. Well, I guess you're going to reset. We start with paralysis. This time we're going to have the five damage in the middle. It's as simple as that, man. No. And I'm going to try to protect it. If I lose the middle unit here, we most likely lose the whole run. Should I maybe use the 212? Like this and then here. Like this. Try to eat through the top with both my units and leave the middle tank as much as it can. 
I mean, I can also achieve that with this, obviously. Because this thing attacks, kills the eye, and then gets the shield. Yeah, I think this is the better choice. We just stick to the top forever, even if we lose the bottom. And uh, we try to eat through the top with the 5-6. Yeah, because last turn I just run down. When does this guy... Androth takes damage again, plus one power. Hmm. Uh, yeah, like this is too dangerous because uh, if two of these five hit this thing, then I will take plus four and lose my best unit. Yeah, let's stick to the top this time from start to finish, even if the bottom goes sideways. Middle's alive. Up's dead. He didn't summon middle. Let's go. Doesn't matter. As long as, long as we do... Oh, we lose the 2-3 here as we previously did. Someone middle and bottom. Double top. It's okay. It's okay. We can eat through them. Now we will get destroy everything. So at least at least we will get two attacks through every turn. At least. Okay, we will get one damage through this turn. Up. Up. Boom. Boom. Stop summoning top. That's the only thing that needs to happen. <laughs> ah, we might lose. We might lose. Uh, by the way, there is no life system or anything. If you just lose a single fight completely, you die. I mean, if... if yeah, if, if you lose a fight completely, you just die. Because uh, losing the fight completely means you have lost your main unit. It doesn't really stop summoning top, does it? Maybe I should have switched a route these around. Yeah, I, I should have played this at the bottom and my also my ally at the bottom. Yes, we got it. We got the god turn. Now we're gonna do six damage. Man, the Doom purchase is what's saving us. We won. The Doom, uh, the Doom Helm. And I need, I need a backline unit. I need a unit that can attack the backline in case I fight another fight like these, like uh, a constant summoning battle fight. Let's put it on this guy. I don't. I, I guess I don't have whatever it needs to go to the left. Give us an item. Axe. What does this do? Counter. Do one damage to random enemy. Oh yes. Let's put it on this guy. So whenever this thing gets attacked and doesn't die, attacked and doesn't die, it will gain. It will just do damage, one damage for free counter, gain shield. Okay, so that means I can attack him once every two turns, pretty much. Every second attack I do is get encountered. Take no hero damage. That's easily done most of the time. Yeah, this guy has doom, so I will leave him in the middle to start healing. And the rest, the rest just attack. Let's go. Boom, boom. Up, yep, armor. Doom, still continuous healing. Continue gaining shields, let's go. Boop, boop. Get Doom heal. Counter-attack. Did he counter-attack? Doesn't feel like he counter-attacks. Counter means... Yeah. Let's see again if this guy counter-attacks, because he seemed to attack after the zombie. Counter-attack? I guess it happens instantly. Oh, this guy's about to die. Yeah, the main problem is that my hero is... You know, let's go down here to maybe save him. He's gonna get a kill. Yeah, he's gonna get a kill, make him um, heal. Will this attack instantly? No, it will not. Nice, nice, nice. Now I can protect him forever. And now he will do 5 damage to the main boss. Because the previous problem was that my my hero was doing the 1 damage every... Are you kidding me right now? Oh, he he. my hero did the block attack. Nice. Bottom survives, hero survives, top obviously survives. Very nice. Whoop, easy win. Easy win. Give the sky. Now he's a 110. Yep, he's a 1. No, he's a 18, I mean, and he. Yeah, he's a 18. And he's a 110 with the item. Campfire, campfire, we go campfire, we don't go shop. I need a unit before the boss. I need a unit before the boss for sure. Let's see what we can get. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, I remember you can reroll. Yeah, you can reroll the campfire. So this guy is front only. I, I need something that does not read front only. It's plus to attack while at the maximum health and exhaustible. Oh, we find this thing again. Poisonous. Deal two damage to all poisoned enemy. I mean, 
This is good. This, uh, this makes poison do 3 damage per turn. And it also does 2 damage itself. So it does 2 damage. And then it, it, turn 1 it does 5. And then actually does 5 every turn. This is decent. I'm, I'm thinking about doing this and throwing this guy away. M might not sound like a good idea, but... But I think it is. I like my Dwarven build. Although I, I'm, I'm really not sure if this is like a good idea. Like, this thing is good. Don't lose armor at the end of the round. This, this part is decent. And actually, the only real... Yeah, the, the only real part of dwarves is this guy. So, it doesn't even make sense to try to force dwarves here. Let's throw this thing out. It was a good run with you, man. Let's get the mage, I would say. Yeah, let's get the mage. And now let's reroll to maybe find something better. Someone above, attack twice while exhausted. This is a 4-6, man. And it has... It's a 4-8, and it has speed 6. Yeah, let's reroll. Let's see if I can... Oh, what is this guy? Another cleric of the hammer. Summon greater spectral ham. Round end. Summon back only. Oh, this is a backline. Yeah, we found a backline. So, ba this is a backline dwarf. We're, we st we're taking this, for sure. So, you're out. You join us. Backline dwarf. Maybe I can find another frontline dwarf. There's this gnome fighter. Poisonous enemies take plus one damage from poison. Oh, there is a poison build in this game. When this character gains power, they also gain shield. Scheme. Curse the nearest enemy. Scheme means when it moves around and doesn't do anything instead of attacking. Let's reroll one more time. And now a dwarf. So, dwarf fighter. Counter, gain plus two power. I love it. I love it. It's a 1-7 and every time it gets attacked, it gains more power and becomes more powerful. I think I'm gonna go with this. I know this guy's insane, but... Let's get the Dwarven Fighter in here. Throw this guy out. Give me this. And now we're full on a Dwarven team. I did what I wanted to do. Let's have this guy heal as he has the least health, least health and I will also try to put him in harm's way all the time anyway. This guy has shielding, so let's give him even more max health. And uh, what is this axe? What does the axe do? Deal one damage to random enemy on counter. Yeah, you can keep the axe. And you still continue being the I kill somebody and I gain shield. Yeah, I think that's decent. Let's go. And then at the end, I have the Spectral Hammer thing, which I don't even know what it does. Counter deal one damage to the nearest enemy. Uh, okay, I guess counter on the counter. Give another ally shield is the round end. And paralyzing attack, round end move. Okay, so we try to kill the sidelines again, as always. Give another ally shield. Let's kill the shield first. I think the top will survive on its own. I don't know if I should protect the, the top or the bottom. Mm, let's protect the top. This guy is doom healing. And I mean, 3 plus 3 and 9. Yeah, I have like 3 turns to keep this guy. Is this guy moving? Deal 1 damage to the nearest enemy on counter. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I can do this. But then this guy is not going to be getting a shield ever. I think this is the best choice, actually. Yeah, because when this guy attacks over here, he will activate the counter and reverse get attack. Yeah, let's go like this. No! No! Three out of three, man. Three out of three. Three out of three attacks. He rolled them all in the middle. What is this thing? Exhaustible. Follow up. Take one damage. Okay. I mean, it's a two... Uh, it's a... It's a two attacking thing that's attack... Take one damage. Oh, it tries to kill itself. I see. It doesn't matter. We're shielding it anyway. So it will attack and then most likely even block the hit. Let's go. Yeah, it attacked and... Uh, yeah, exactly. It's alive. And now he's gonna attack. No! Everything is going sideways. Still gain more shields. This guy is... Deal one damage to the nearest enemy. Ah, it always attacks the middle. I'm, I'm not good at reading. <laughs> I'm not good at reading. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Everything is still going pretty fine. We lost the shield. We're gonna lose the, this guy too. But we still can do this. Yeah. And now guess what? This guy attacks here for three and we win. And this guy... Sh his passive should be on either this guy or this guy. So first you go. We don't care. Then you go. We don't care. Then I go and we win. Yeah, one. Done. The paralyzing attacks even made it even faster. Easy enough. We didn't lose anything. And the only unit... I mean, I would like to level up the Dwarven Mage here. 
but uh, it is what it is. We also got this thing for the hero. From here on out, the hero will have plus one attack. Let's get eight gold. And let's give the twig speed to... Well, we're forced to give it to this guy as the rest is leveled up to the max. And let's get our last passive. Bounce now, deal five damage to a random enemy. I like it. It usually kills an enemy right off the bat. Allied archers attack twice. Useless but insanely powerful. I love it. Oh, battle start. Ooh, this is insane. At the, at the start of the battle, all your archers attack twice. I love it. The first time an ally takes damage, give them shield. Uh, an inst a random insta-kill. I could go for reroll. Let's find something more synergistic. Uh, give a random ally human plus one power. When a poisoned character dies, or still one health, useless. Battle start, give shield to an allied human, dwarf, and elf. This is for multi-build. multi, multi -build. Nope. Your hero has plus one attack, and I love this. Plus one attack and plus two speed on the hero. I like it. Allies, human, and dwarfs have plus one health. Plus one health on all my dwarfs is this. New hero attacks an additional time. Uh, I think this is, yeah, this is definitely more DPS focused than this because this is, I attack twice for two damage, while this is, I attack one time for three damage. Unless human and dwarves gain plus one health. This is plus one health on all my units, like all of them. Should I go for plus one health on all my units? I mean, I'm, I'm an armor build, most, mo I'm mostly an armor build. I think I want to go with I attack twice to increase my DPS. Let's go with attack twice. I'm, I'm pretty good enough with, um, with life and survivability anyway, so increasing our DPS is really important here. Let's go on. The witch. You. I have more potions for sale. Transform into a random item. Consumable. Okay, it's just an item, but it's for mages only. Restore to health. Useless. And transform a mage into a multi-class. All of them are useless. Let's go. The thing at the bottom that says items only, it says mage only too, so. Target's the highest health enemy. Poisonous. Most objective. Win in two, four turns. Oh, we might lose here. <laughs> so this guy will attack always the top. Uh, what What's the speed? Actually, it's not going to attack the top. It's most likely going to attack the mid. Round and move, round and move. And this is the poisonous thing. Uh, Let's try to... Pro is there a plan here? I guess I shield the top. Or we just go... Let's just go while I try to keep my 5 damage unit here in check. Attack twice, boom, poison the top. Okay, random shield at the top. Yeah, I can move to the top to keep my top alive, but now this guy is going to start getting attacked. The hammer just attacks and dies. Okay, see how the hammer works. So the hammer is completely whatever. Okay, we just continue. There isn't really anything to see here. We just randomly attack all the time until we win. I mean, it's an auto butler at heart. Ah, maybe a turn-based combat at heart. Auto butler at second. We have one more turn to win. I'm not sure we will win. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we win. With a double attack. With a double attack. Let's go. I told you DPS was our problem. <laughs> up, 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 up. And uh, level up. Up. Game 3, power on counter. And 2 more life. The 2 more life is more important than the other thing. Campfire against whatever this is. I think this is new. I've never seen this. Let's go to whatever this is. What is this? Ah, I'm on a gold ring. May just for you. Battle start, become poisoned, and gain 3 gold. Ah, I'm on offer cursed rings. The curse is dependent on your current hero. Ah. Hero only. Oh no. No 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 we gain one gold out of that. I thought I was gonna sacrifice a unit and making a unit poisoned. We're not gonna take one damage for the rest of the thing just for to gain three gold. Paralyze random enemy. Okay. Death summon a terror. Okay, we just go through the middle, that's what I see here. That's a terror. Oh, it's a 215. I see. Uh, I would like you to not do anything. And the same goes for you. Well, I don't see that happening. Round end, move. But I definitely don't want this thing to attack. Ah, let's just go where we are, as we are. YOLO it. At the end of the day, this thing will move anyway, so... And I even have so much shielding and protection in general. Like, who cares? 
I'm just gonna do a kill there. I don't think we are in any danger. Continue. Boom. Boop. Boop. Yep. Damage, damage, damage. We're about to lose the our good unit here. Oh, it get it gets shielded twice. Does this guy attack twice? Okay, and next round. Oh, nope, nope. Still alive. <laughs> we continue having like hammers because this thing um, shielded the hammer as far as I understand. Oh, this guy has the power boost. Easy enough. Yeah, that, that's an easy win. Man, the double shielding is insane. How many times did this thing... Uh, give a random allied fighter plus one armor. How many times did it roll this guy? We won. Once again, killing the... The side the enemies does not really matter. Up, up, up. And let's start buffing up this guy. Shop against random item change. Let's go with shop. Let's, uh, we have 28 coins. We can buy something instantly insane. There should be something with four fighters here. All travelers, fortune occasion. Speed and health for a fighter. I love it. Health for a fighter. Nice. Mage. Mage. So we got two. Uh, this guy mage? This is all a mage. Wait a minute. Gain shield. Not nearly that good. Round end. Gain one plus one power. So this is literally plus one damage pretty much. Other than the first turn. That's how you should read this. I think I'm going to get the plus one power every single turn. That means that after the first turn, he will always have two damage because power is a one time buff, a one round buff. So first turn, he does one damage. Second turn, he does two. Third turn, he does two. Fourth turn, he does two because he will have always this power chaining into each other. Plus three health, straight up plus three health. Let's put on this guy because he has a very low health. And uh, speed and health. You know, I'm going to keep my money for the shop. Let's go to this fight. I'm gonna keep my money for campfire in case campfire is important. Round end. Summon two unstable radiances, then move. Dungeon boss. Menacing radiance. Uh, I mean, we just DPS down. <laughs> protect the protect the adventure. Let's go. Uh, I think I should have had this to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a mistake. Yep, mistakes were made. Ah, we were lucky actually. So I just remembered how this fight works. <laughs> this works uh, with... Uh, you need to be able to do 5 DPS on every single lane. And right now the bottom lane is not able to do 5 DPS. I'm gonna go to the top here and leave the bottom lane get lost. Like the bottom lane is the only one that's never gonna have enough DPS for this thing. These things will explode and do 5 damage to the whole lane. Now this is gonna explode into 5, exactly. But this guy didn't take anything because he's insane. And now he's gonna take 5 and 5, but it's actually not gonna be that. Because this thing will do 5 to... Uh, like, when this explodes, it will do 5 to the back one. So it's not gonna be like 5 and 5. It's just gonna be 5 and then this it's it's gonna kill its, itself, pretty much. The reason I went up here is because with these two, I can now do 5 damage at the top lane. You see, just one explosion happened there. And the bottom lane is really unimportant for us, as I said. This guy is pretty much... Borderline Immortal. This is not gonna explode. Didn't matter. He gains 5 shield per turn, man. He gains 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 1, 5. He gains 5 armor every turn. And now the middle is gonna explode, so this guy's dead. But uh, that's actually not true either, because the top here will do enough damage, I think. Nope. Oh, borderline. Dead. Explosion. And the bad thing is that we lost the one... I should have uh, switched there. Yeah, because we lost the one unit that I wanted to level up. <laughs> I had to switch there, but I didn't. I know I can't level him up. Gain one gold. Ilifar. I don't really think I need a deal, devil deal right now. Although I can go to a very far ah, let's let's go for campfire. Forget the devil deal deal. Let's see what we can get here. Human fighter. Give all characters in this column plus one armor at the round end. Column is like wait a second. This is lane. Okay, lane is this, column is this. So this guy gives plus two armor to everybody. Every single turn. Plus two armor to everybody because I have this buff that armors are plus one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this guy. The all characters in the column plus one armor is really, really good. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw away this guy. He is decent, don't get me wrong. But um, yeah, I think this guy's better. And even though this guy says that, you know, for each dwarf he gains one armor, he will still gain more armor by getting just around and everybody gets an armor. So you are out, Berserker. I'm sorry. I, I like the Berserker, but I mean, it is what it is. And this guy does two damage anyway, so I could also throw this guy out. And this character kills an enemy gain a shield. Wait a minute. Isn't this guy like a little bit of a soloist? He's a 3-9. I can put like the attack buff and the health buff together to this guy, and then he's gonna be a 4-10. So this guy is a 
5 9, and this guy can be a 4 10 while also shielding everybody. On the other hand, this guy is a permanent 6 3 9 against this guy being a 1 11, and once in a while being a 4 11. Ah, let's throw this guy out. You come in, and yeah, you actually <gasps> no! I sold him with the items. No, I sold him with the items. That was a mistake. I hate that this is a thing, by the way, in this game. Like when I sell somebody, please throw the items back. Like now, I do understand that they patch this game often, and I really love that they add new things. But the quality of life, it's like lacking a lot of quality of life things, like a lot of them. And I can't even take it back. Like there is no reset here. We just lost some items. Did that guy have items on him? Wait a minute, did the Berserker have items on him? Am I wrong about this? I remember the Berserker having items. Yeah, he definitely had the, the glove, the glove, the glove. He definitely had the glove. Guaranteed, he had the glove. So we lost just we just lost an item for no reason whatsoever. I mean, the reason is because I'm stupid, but you know... <laughs> I'm gonna just throw it to the game. It's the game's fault. Let's reset here. Maybe we can find an even better character. Poisonous when a character dies. Nope. Uh, Doom deal for damage. Nope. Mage at the first round. Someone. Nope. What is this guy? Oh, he's back. Don't lose armor. Evil eyes manage plus. Nope, let's do one last reroll. Character gains power. They also gain... Nope. What is this guy? Has bonus attack equal to the armor? Ah. Ah. Good combo with this guy, but no. Reroll. Is this a dwarf? Elemental mage. After the first round, summon a greater metal wisp. What? Okay. Oh, this guy's a dwarf. Counter. Restore one health to a damaged non-heroic ally. And it's a uh, front line and back line. Restore one health to a damaged non-heroic ally on counter. I could switch it with the runesmith. Now dwarf takes damage, gain one power, round end, gain plus one armor for each other dwarf. Counter restore one health to a damaged non-heroic ah. Is this a fr oh, this is a front and back, but it's counter only. Now let's keep the team as it is. Let's go. I, I really don't like, I, I really hate the fact that we lost item there. Uh, has plus one attack for each enemy. Okay, that's not good, obviously. Uh, confusion, invisible. Follow-up, move. Confusion does the following. So when he attacks, the target becomes confused. Moving after the next attack. He's gonna swap our war units around. Randomly. And he has six attack. You know what? It's, it's your time to shine and tank. We're gonna just tank. Do you move? This guy does not move. So we straight up try to just tank through the middle. Okay, this guy has confusion, so he, next turn he will try to move. You got a shield, get a shield, nice. Okay. Oh no, this hammer. Oh, this hammer is gonna die anyway. By the way, everything is attacking every single turn. He moved in a pretty good spot. Like, in a pretty good spot, honestly. Well, not in a good spot. Not good enough. This is inexhaustible. You can go over here to attack anyway. And you can to the front to shield again, everybody. Oh, nothing died. Don't move to a bad spot. Why did he not move? Oh, and he's dead. Well, well, well. You go over here to shield. Woven Cleric. And uh, he will attack anyway and die. Let's go. Okay, take zero, plus a bomb. The bomb is the main problem, like, the, the random... Yeah, the random death from above is the main problem. Let's avoid the random death from above. Let's, uh, let's go. I don't think there is anything to do here. He's confused, so let's hope he doesn't swap in any really bad position, like the instant death there. Nice. And he even stayed at the top, which is the most important part here. Hey, this guy did confusion on us. Did that happen? I guess. Uh, let's come here to give this guy a shield next turn. Oh, he's gonna get hammer slammer from above. Um, he's about to take 6 plus 5 dead. What can I do? I mean, I can't avoid and then go here, but... This guy's gonna take... Yeah, this is easily more doable. Like, he will take 6 plus 5, 10. He, he will uh, survive with 11. Let's go. 
I'm okay with taking like oh I, I should not have moved with my main character I should have attacked twice uh, I think we win boop 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 and four with my main unit oh no I got dizzied doesn't matter we win very nice isn't even the boss by the way is not even the boss okay continue buffing this guy the super flame against the random item I mean I just made my build I don't think I wanted the super flame. Let's just go for the random item. So what are you doing? Okay, three health to a fighter. Let's give it to this guy so he doesn't get one shot. Actually, this guy... I think this guy is a bit more important right now. Giving shields and stuff. On the other hand, yeah. And the Jin. let's go. Not sure if we're gonna be able to beat this, but you know, that's like a thing I'm saying all the time. As a bonus attack equal to their armor. Round end, gain 15 armor, and then move. Never spirit. So has bonus attack equal to their armor. So as long as we're eating through the armor, we're winning. By the way, you have to realize that this guy is a spirit, a djinn. And this thing says, destroy the ember spirit. So... We need to, to do things pretty much. We need to DPS this guy down, so that he doesn't have a shield when he's attacking. At the same time, we need to break the vase. Let's do it. There is an easy way and a hard way. The easy way is to just kill the genie. Because as long as I do 50 damage per round, it will just do 2 or 3 damage. So, that, that this is pretty much it. Like, has bones, attack equal to the armor, round end, gain 15 armor, then move. It doesn't matter that it moves. Uh, these guys will slowly attack the middle here. We're going to be doing 5 plus 4, 9 damage, plus 2. Uh, 5, okay, so... Plus 2 is 11. We're doing 11 damage per turn. So that he will only do 4 damage per attack. And this thing will gain 4 armor or even more every turn. So this is like pretty much over. Boop. Boop. Boom. Boom. Yep. 4. Now this guy has 6 shield. And he will never again take damage. Pretty much. Oh. It's even easier than I thought. Because this thing moves around and doesn't attack the same unit every time. Yeah, well, easy. Easy fight then. Just continue doing the same thing every turn. Until we win. Now let's speed this up. Tuck, 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 tuck. Two damage for turn. Yep, let's go again. Up, up. Up, 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 up. Again. Taking the hero damage is the side question anyway. Middle is almost dying. The vase is 13 life, so we need to do as much as we already did. I'm doing 3 damage per turn. Okay, at this point I can actually start DPSing down the vase. Which in my opinion is what I should do, obviously. So, let's sacrifice 1 damage this turn. Wait, uh, this guy, how much damage will he take? 5 less damage to this guy. Which means he's gonna take 7. He can survive the 7. Let's go. Next turn we're winning. Because 5 plus 2 makes 8. In some universe. Not in this one though. Captain, did you hear that? We need to leave quickly. Oop. Oop. Done. The boss is dead. Easy enough. I could have played this even better, right? I could have just have all my DPS in the middle and just blast through this. But slow and steady wins the race anyway. See what he gets. Plus two attack. Summon a golden spectral hammer. Ah, a greater spectral hammer. Ah, I see the difference. I see the difference. New units or shop. I think I'm gonna go shop. It might sell some broken stuff. Buy a thing. Seven health to a fighter. I mean, it's pretty broken. We still one health on Doom. Plus one health. The equipped character cannot be paralyzed on mages. Useless. Battle start gain horror armor. Eh, let's go with seven health on 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 tank. Let's actually give this here. Yes, I mean, this is my five damage unit. Though I don't think he's... Yeah, this is better. A lot better. Let's go. Everything, everybody is like almost immortal. Borderline immortal. I don't know why I didn't pick up any other item. Dungeon boss. The hand of Abaddon. Target one of the nearest enemies in any lane. That's not good. Uh, when an ally monster dies, gain plus one attack. And counter, give the hand of Abaddon plus two power. Counter, give the hand of Abaddon plus two armor. 
So we either kill these two. What does he gain when he... Plus one attack permanently. Plus two power. Plus two armor. Uh... I mean, we threw the boss. Pretty much, we eat through the boss. That is the idea here. Or I can try to, in, within 5 hits, to kill this. The thing is that, if this gets permanent plus 1 attack, at uh, twice, it will have 4 attack. 4 attack is not the problem for us. Because, right now, we're taking 6. These things do not move. So, always the top is gonna take 2. The bottom is gonna always take 2. And then, a random enemy is gonna take... A random one of us is gonna take 4. I think just making this thing do 4 damage and also having 2 armor isn't really that bad. Just just eat through it. We will gain 2 armor on everybody. And now the 2 armor on this guy. Now let's just go. And this guy is also going to gain 3 armor on his own. So the bottom is like the most dangerous one here. Otherwise, DPS wise, this guy's going to get... F yeah, this guy is literally mortal. This guy is also mortal because I will be buffing him. So the only problem is like this guy. So, we just give him more health. Ah, let's just go as we are. And if we, it's a bad thing, we just reset battle. Let's go down to 3 speed. Just to make it more clear. What's happening? Equal damage, yep. Shield and shield. Uh, we will obviously use the hammer to attack the bottom all the time. He has 8 armor, do you see this? Boop, 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 yep. Abaddon gains power, he attacks for 4. Bottom is the worst choice, obviously. We send the hammer to the bottom. It's inexhaustible anyway, so it will attack on its own. Uh, this guy has four armor. Please don't attack the bottom, but don't attack the middle or the top, man. Is it that hard? Thank you. Okay, bottom's almost dead. So in a bit, Abaddon will have obviously more attack, but it will just be five damage, so who cares? Please don't attack the bottom. Please don't attack the bottom. Thank you. Let's go again. No, 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 no. That was a mistake. Mistakes were made. Something's gonna take seven. Not the bottom, please. Oof. Okay, hammer. Don't be stupid. Thank you. Bop. 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 The please no bottom is also always gonna be real. Like, reality. But, in the, but like, it doesn't really matter that much. We're winning anyway. Nice. Continue. And we win. And we win. As simple as that. As simple as that. We have a good team, man. Up, up, up. And we can't even use XP as far as I know. Yep, we can't even use XP. Everybody's max level. And healing also not. Money. And last thing we get. Strange Brew. Battle start, give a plus one attack to all laser food, gnome and element useless. When an ally is summoned, give them plus two power. This is the with the hammer, so this makes the hammer do 2 damage. Uh, so the hammer is a 5 attack unit pretty much with this. I like this, I like this. Almost like, yeah, L let's take this. When an ally is summoned, give it plus 2 power. Because that means the hammer is gonna do 5 damage and die. So this is literally as if it says do plus 2 damage on either the bottom or the top lane every turn. Which I'm okay with. There is a last shop here, I didn't realize. We have 16 coins, nice. And restore one health to a damaged non-heroic ally. To a mage, which I have a mage. This is really good. One heal. This is gonna save us. Mage only, plus three attack, minus three health. Make this guy have only three attack. Wow, this is really powerful. Making this guy have five attack. Round end, restore one health. Do anything you want. And round end, gain plus one power on a mage. I'm sad I don't have more money. I think I should go for damage. Honestly, I think I should go for damage and then have this guy like at the top and have a DPS, a high enough DPS to clear every single lane, every single thing that might appear, might happen, might, you know, happen. So like something like this. Middle has five DPS, bottom has two DPS, top is also, or maybe something like this. And then when the hammer spawns, just put it on the bottom and we have DPS everywhere. I think that's a good idea. Let's go. Is my character, he's a dwarven hero. Let's go. Abaddon, the old god, transform each turn. Do, 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 do. Well, first turn doesn't do anything, so we're pretty safe. Uh, yeah, I think I just stay in the middle. Bottom will have the assistance of the hammer. Top is pretty much immune already. 
Uh, bottom is like the weakest link we have. That's why I don't want to be at the bottom. And the hammer's going to be there. I could also do like this. And the hammer's going to be at the top. But he's not supporting it. Ah, let's just go. Up. 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 Now the hammer's going to be 5-1. Yeah. Let's go. Who dares? It's an 8 attack attack. It is what it is. Um, I think I should have had this in the middle. Yeah, let's 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 actually just straight up not take that hit. As simple as that. Let's just straight up not take that hit. So the top has insane DPS. The middle has not insane DPS, but it's okay. I think yeah. Pass. Boop. I died. Boop. 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 Oh, laser. Nothing. Next. What is next? More souls. Round then summon three golden spheres. Okay, so that's literally nothing. Let's go. Oh, three damage. What are the golden spheres? Who knows? We should be able to cover the DPS. Hopefully they all summon at the top. Okay, what do these do? Nothing. They just exist. They attack. They attack. That's what they do. Okay, top will handle there. Uh, middle has none of them. What is this? Paralyzing attack. Attacks twice. Targets one of the nearest enemies in any lane. Okay. And it's last, right? Yeah, it has zero speed. So you go down to help out with this. Uh, these will do 3 damage to the bottom, but we can't do anything about that. And uh, I'm gonna stick the middle because my main character is not inexhaustible. And uh, yeah, let's attack. Bop. Bop. Yeah, you got laser. That is what it is. Doesn't he have like the doom heal? I remember who has the doom heal. Paralyzed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Panic. <laughs> I'm kidding. What is this? Confusing. Attacks 3 times. Targets 1 of the nearest enemies in any lane. Okay, that's bad. Because if my units will start swapping around and doing stupid stuff, then we might actually lose. But otherwise, we're pretty decent here. Okay, two confusion in the middle. Ah, maybe not the end of the world. Invulnerable is an achievement we got. Summon a poison sphere. Yeah, so he does nothing. Oh. Let's hope the swapperoo is not gonna destroy our composition here. Go top. No! Oh, oh, let's hope the poison is not gonna kill us, man. What is the poison sphere gonna do? Poison the lowest health enemy. Poison the lowest health enemy. Um, that would be this guy, and he will die in two turns. In not, if not in one. You know what? Let's, let's see if the poison be there forever. You go over here, you go over here. Let's, let's not pop the poison right now, okay? Let, let's not lose the cleric of the hammer. What is he gonna do? Eight damage in the middle. It's... It's okay. I can swap these two and then have this guy only go back and forth or something. Like, I don't really want to attack the poison orb, and we're still at 150. Let's go. Oh, there is a chance for this. Wait, 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 wait. We got this. No, no, no. He got poisoned. He will die. No, I had a plan. I had a plan. What is he gonna do? Summon three golden spheres. I really had a plan. I honestly <laughs> had a plan. Uh, he's gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my cleric though, off the work. The plan, by the way, was to to poison the hammer. <laughs> the plan was to poison the hammer. Well, we lose the cleric now. Let's DPS. I don't know. Double orb. Okay, very nice. We can clear everything. Yeah, the cleric is dead in two turns. We're gonna lose a bit of damage with that. Ah, oh, double paralyzed attack. Oh. Confusing. Okay. I mean, he paralyzed one of my better units. The cleric's dead. I don't think I can save the cleric somehow. Good thing we get double confusion instead of anything else. The only way I could save the cleric somehow is if I put it in the front and then buff it with shields, but that's like extremely stupid. Summon a poison sphere, yep, it is what it is. Damage, 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 damage and death, damage, damage, damage. Okay, uh, reset my characters, so you go... Who has the heal on doom? Oh, the heal on doom has been sold because of the mechanic we mentioned previously. Okay, uh, we do not want to activate this. Actually, we don't care. It says character, right? 
Poison the lowest health enemy. Uh-oh. That means it's gonna hit my main character and we then have a timer running for us. Uh, who can take 8 damage? <laughs> I think nobody. <laughs> I guess I can YOLO this guy. Yeah, let's, let, let's have him take damage. Who's attacking in one turn? Let's go. I'm okay with the clock. Oh, no. I'm not okay with what happened. I was okay with the clock. I'm not okay with this. Summon two random devourers and do three damage. Okay. Does poison go through shield? No, it does not. Very nice. We're safe. What are these? Characters can't recover health. Characters can't gain armor. Oh, no. Confusing ray. Okay, let's continue. Oh, no. Oh, no. The devourers are going to kill us. Cannot heal is useless and the shield is behind that? Oh no. <laughs> okay, we, we... Oh no. <laughs> Summon three... Oh no. <laughs> Let's go with... Forget the devourers. Do I need the shield? Can I DPS this down? We're doing seven damage per turn with these two. And then another four for me. Uh, so in four turns we win. Can we win though in four turns? Otherwise, in five turns, if I try to eat through the middle. Let's go. Okay, good thing nothing is attacking us. Okay, Poison Sphere. So, as far as I know, Poison will try to do it on the lowest health again. Right? Right? You know, because I don't want to risk this. Let's have this guy take the hit. Of the damage. Let's go. Nice. Take it. Shield, 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 shield. 3 damage plus the Devourers. Okay, let's hope this poison's gonna hit the already poisoned unit again. Yeah, that is actually what happened. Very nice. So we we're safe on that front. Okay, the no healing ones. Who cares? This is triple attack, paralyze attack. We can deal with this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's not the end of the world. Shielding is still happening. Triple confusion attack. Let's go. Hop. Hop. Nice. Who cares? Who cares? No. Attack twice the same. Attack twice. Let's go. Mortal ones. Good thing it doesn't attack right now. I mean, it doesn't matter as we have the shield the team here anyway. It's poison again. Well, uh, we reset the team. Eight damage incoming. You know what? Shield it. Let's play. Because he takes zero damage next attack. Very nice. And we win. I don't see us losing here anymore. I, I, I cannot see how we can lose. Uh, sp specifically because the boss is dead. <laughs> Explosion. The world remains open. Yes, it does. I guess it does. And Tazgus. There are meta progressions, obviously. Uh, not meta progressions. Unlockables. Unlockables. Tazgin. Is uh, uh, one yeah at max level, so that means it's in, instantly level three, and you can only find it at Act three. And he does elf hero. Oh, he's a hero! If this character kills an enemy, summon a bone pile inexhaustible. Bone pile to the enemies or to us? The new version of the basic hero, because if it's for the enemies, then that's good because this would be a doom build pretty much. If it's for us. Then it's a shield. By the way, uh, yeah, like, I, I love the game and all, but they definitely need someone a bone pile. Yeah, this thing needs to say on which side. Someone a bone pile on the enemy side of the... On the enemy side. Or the enemies. For an enemy a enemy bone pile. Or an ally bone pile, you know? Please. <laughs> I love the game, but quality of life a bit. Quality of life. I like that you push out content. I love it. But I think quality of life is missing. Um, not not about... Like, the, the game is really good. It's really well made. But, like, things like easily being able to see what the level ups are going to be. If there is a button for that, please point it out to me. So that, you know, I'm going to use that button. If there is, like, a button like shift control or something that makes you see them instantly. But I didn't find anything. Uh, not losing the items when you sell a unit. That's also extremely important. And uh, explaining abilities a bit more. Uh, I, I'm not sure if that's like a coding thing. Also, not being able to easily see what the bone pile is. I do understand that um, 
here for example this thing after the first round summon an enemy lesser void wisp i do understand that after playing this game 10 times or 20 times you will know what the lesser void wisp is what a bone pile is what that is what this is but honestly quality of life man quality of life i don't know how coding wise this is feasible you know i think you have to have some kind of coding already set up in a way to be able to do that easily but uh, even if it isn't i mean i love that they put up patches with new characters all the time as you see here changelog they added a bunch of things and this is like from when i started playing this they said that they had 11 updates from that time so we, they were adding new units new characters new heroes all the time by the way, there is also something else. There isn't a way to see all the characters here. I have to go into a new game and open the codex there. I cannot see what character exists. Otherwise, like, um, you know, I cannot see the level ups, settings. No, it's not in settings. Change log. No, it's not in change log. Custom game. It's not dungeon. So, quality of life things that need to get added. First of all, um, you being able to see the level ups easily while you're doing the run. Second, don't make us lose the items when I sell a unit or a hero. Just throw them on the ground. Uh, if if there is not enough room on our side, then throw it on the other side of the room somewhere so that we, you know, but we should have uh, room on our side always because when you sell a unit, he has three, up to, up to three items. One item can get dropped to where the unit was when you sold it and then the other two can drop below your uh, next to your hero you can drop items next to your hero so you definitely have like three slots for dropping items uh third thing that they should add in my opinion is explanation of things like what the void wisp is or what the bone pile is and also adding if it's an enemy side like here for example it says an enemy lesser void wisp which is nice here it says a bone pile which is not nice and uh, the last thing i should they should add is um you know the codex here in the in the start screen like uh, let us be able to see which which units we have which units we might go for because you know it's not really that that's how it, I can just go here, Tazgun, doesn't really matter, we go into this, and then I literally, the moment this thing starts, I can go over, yeah, blah, 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 it's you, and then I can just go over here and see, right, Book of Champions, I can just go and see in a run, but uh, quality of life means quality of life, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not about, yo, you can do this, it's more about, hello, yeah, it's not about, yo, you can do this already, you don't need, oh, did that glitch, did you see, like, the boss glitch for half a millisecond there, the, I mean, the keeper, but here there isn't this. Where's the Book of Champions here? Why doesn't it exist here? <laughs> I mean, those are not something I think is negative. Like, those are not negatives for the game. I like the game a lot. And uh, you should also try it if you, you know, can buy it easily. Uh, but uh, those are more of, you know, things that after 10 patches, I would assume would exist already. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna play a few more runs of this. I mean, this video is like a bit longer because I was explaining some things and also going through some things and like, uh, you know, talking about different things. Uh, by the way, there are also higher difficulties. There are also easier difficulties, but there are also higher difficulties. But uh, for now, I think I want to be playing either on New Game Plus or on New Game Flat because I want to play a bit with experimenting around and having fun than trying to be super min-maxi and try to make the most broken builds possible and don't use things. And, you know, because I was playing a new game instead of playing at New Game Plus 4, I was able to cruise through with having only four warriors with one of them being at the back and not doing anything through the whole act of two, uh, through the whole second act. So, you know, things like these are only possible when you play on lower difficulties and just have fun and explain things and just, you know, just experiment around. And if this series catches on and we see that we're doing like a whole series out of this, like uh, if I see that people watch this and care about this and uh, I get like to episode 5, 10, 20, or I don't know what, like random numbers saying here, then uh, I will start increasing the difficulty to do some challenge runs too, right? But uh, until that happens, we're just gonna chill here on the lower difficulties to have fun and experiment with builds. I want to do a Doom build too, like I like the Doom builds there pretty broken and um, yeah i think that's going to be it for today um first of all hell thanks for all the patreon supporting they are actually helping me out a lot and uh yeah if you also enjoy the video and just want to help while not you know um being a patreon you can just drop a like like that's the simplest thing you can do that helps out the channel 
And uh, yeah, I would like to hear some opinions on this. I'm pretty sure the dev might drop because as far as I know, the dev is actually following my channel, especially when I upload um, their videos. So if you want to say something, just comment down below and I'm going to pin the comment as I always do with devs and stuff. And uh, in general, if anybody else wants to say something, something they like, something they dislike, something they think should change or something they should add or whatever, you know, then go down below and comment that too because maybe the dev will look into your comments too and, you know, maybe even exp talk with you. I don't know how much the dev is interacted or not. And um, yeah, I mean, I love the fact that this game still gets patches and new characters and new heroes. So I'm just going to play a bit more. And yeah, that's going to be it. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.